in the energy quadrant, a two day bounce in natural gas up two consecutive session and working on only its second up week in the last 10. But despite those two straight sessions, natural gas is still coming off of the lowest levels reached yesterday on yesterday's low since 2020. The high today, two spot 444, that was up 6.35%. We ended up finishing the day a little bit better than plus three and a half percent on the low, two spot 235, that was minus two and three quarters of a percent versus yesterday's settlement of two spot 298. Again, that low yesterday, lowest level we've seen since 2020 for natural gas. Now we had the EIA report today. The natural gas storage report printed a draw of 71 billion cubic feet, which was larger than market expectations of 65 billion cubic feet, but much, much smaller than the five-year average draw of 177 billion cubic feet. Supplies decreased to 2.195 billion cubic feet and surpluses improved to 289 billion cubic feet. On top of that, domestic demand is going to start out strong, but then move to light. So it's not really gonna be stressing out the system too much. So you could almost say next week, demand will be in aggregate moderate. Rain and snow and very cold lows of minus 10 to 30 degrees will hit the Western and Northern US over the next few days, while Texas, the South, and some of the East will have very nice temperatures from 60 to 80 degrees. Later in the weekend, frigid air moves across the Ohio Valley and the Midwest, and then that same air moves northeast for stronger demand, but then it warms from Sunday to Wednesday to go back to light demand. So in aggregate, aggregate moderate demand, not likely to push that price too much higher based off the demand, but we'll have to look at all the factors going into next week.